So we have so many breads. Or I have so many breads. <laughs> oh. uh -huh. And what was chicken mushroom? I'm so excited, guys. I can't keep it off my mind. So now we're at this restaurant that we actually walked by yesterday. We're gonna see if we can order some food. It's a beautiful spot. Could it be it? Oh, you're here already. Yes. Actually, we've ordered a coffee since we're good. Okay. It's cold. What's her name? I'll, 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 I'll meet. <laughs> it's my, my friend Engin, it's Anastasia. Anastasia? Nice to meet you, Anastasia. Yeah. Anastasia or Nastia? Uh, you can call you the, as you like. It's, 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 it's works. I called her like five different names and she just responds every time. <laughs> <laughs> like I knew her for so many months and I was like, I still don't know what your name really is. So it happened Anastasia, before too. Nastia. With Masha, Maria, Maria, you were saying. Yeah. So, how, which names you call? Every name, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> just, just be like, hey, Slish. Okay, <laughs> I was testing you, how is this Russian? And she says, pretty good. Spasibo. Uh, <laughs> Before it was like, babushka, spasibo, oh, uh, harasho. Oh, it shit, yeah. Because, <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's the shit. <laughs> that's uh, all. At, uh, uh, if they can. Latte is more coffee <laughs> and cappuccino. She's ordered some takeaway for us. Можно, будь ласка, ще три порції галушок, одну порцію з сиром, одну порцію з куркою. So, what do you think? What do you want to say to all the people who told me not to come to Vltava because they said it was shit? Fuck them! <laughs> Don't come to Vltava. <laughs> but all right, seriously, I've I've been only here for I guess a day and a half now, and it's cold because it's still kind of end of winter. And everything is closed because it's locked down and i still like it it's like a very walkable city kind of reminds me a little bit of like lviv as in like this old architecture this walkable streets with no cars nice people people here are really really nice actually uh the food is way cheaper than everywhere else accommodation accommodation is cheap transport fee everything everything like you don't even need transportation because everything is so close <laughs> we just walk so i would actually recommend anyone who's visiting kiev Especially if you're gonna to go to Kharkiv, to stop here on the way. It's like it's like on the way by train. Come here for a few days, probably just a few days, but it's nice. Yep. Welcome to Poltava. Welcome to Poltava. No, it's not a bustling capital, uh -huh. but it's really cozy, and uh, it has many interesting cultural and historical places. So it's worth visiting at least once. Yeah. Maybe twice. Maybe twice. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> All right. So, again, yes. I know that you only see, I feel bad because you've only seen like just this little area. We walked the whole Plotava. Whole Plotava? Yeah. You're joking. Yeah, like one kilometer down. We walked only a whole district of Plotava. Whole Plotava. I can walk there like no Yeah. Problem. I can tell you I can tell you on the map what to see, uh -huh. but I won't go again. So okay. <laughs> what to see. <laughs> yeah. Actually it's very cool. Down there there's like a Roman Colosseum. Like we just a have Greek... to go along the street. No, no, not, not Colosseum, just like a straight. Greek thing. Yeah. Yeah, this is this road. Go to every place you see. Yeah. yeah. Okay. That's it. I Actually it's pretty easy. Like just go straight yes. until there's a nice park. And then you keep going, and there's like a big uh, viewpoint with this white column. There's a Greek viewpoint. Thing. Beautiful viewpoint. And what about this part? That's okay. You went there? Yeah, that's where we met this morning. Okay. Is it good? That's no, okay. Okay, maybe I'll be. There are yeah. Several adventures. And you can you can take my drone. Ah. Yeah. Okay. So now we're gonna go back to the hostel where we ordered food and we're gonna eat some traditional Tatavian cuisine. Kushna Kushna. That's gonna be the most tasty, most fun, I believe. Yeah. Wait, what's I going know on? What it is. Can you open it? Yes, yeah, sure. 
She is so sweet. She is always bringing me gifts. I did it. Fatala chocolate. Go ahead. Homemade jams. Oh my god. What what um, fruit is it? Plum. It's a plum. This is a plum, and this is a raspberry. Oh my god! From your garden. Yeah. Oh my god, this is so good. I saw it. I can't open it, but. Oh, this looks nice. It's fussy, man. Oh my yeah. god. Enjoy. Oh, it's so good. I had it. She she gave it to me like two years ago before I left. Uh -huh. It was so tasty because it's homemade. Where did you pick the raspberries? Uh, in my garden, in the village. <laughs> I want to go to this village one day. Okay. Yeah? Yeah. Promise? Okay. Okay. Let's do it. <laughs> yeah, we are here anyway. Not in oh, Poltawa, so but Iran. Yeah. Da, 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 da. I'm so excited, guys. I'm so excited. Feast time. Feast time. So, guys, we ordered everything that Plotava has to offer. Everything. Every, like, literally everything. Like, potato pancakes, more country potatoes. These are also plain, so you can mm -hmm. try and these are called the Gurnichi? How, how do you say it? This is Halushki. Halushki. This is only found in Plotava. <laughs> So, oops. supposedly this is Vereniki, but it looks like Galushi to me. They all look the same. But it's just, you know what it is? It's this like, this, this steamy kind of thing. Like, Vereniki normally yeah. is boiled. This is like steamed. Yeah. Yeah. Because it's like original recipe, they cook it on a steam. Like KFC, original recipe. <laughs> What is the if right call, name? Uh, the, if you call uh, to a local and say that this is <laughs> Plotava KFC. <laughs> oh, let's get into the name of this. Welcome to Plotava KFC, guys. <laughs> let's try. Mm. Team, yeah. made of the Okay. Yeah, that's why you guys yeah. both know. So, if anyone's ever had a like, Chinese steamed buns called Manto, this tastes exactly the same as it. It's the same texture. It's like the same dough, same cooking method. Just with cherries. But Chinese, it's a, it with different sauce. Yeah, not cherries. <laughs> <laughs> but the meat version of it, it's also different. Like, but it's the same. It's, it's the same, same, but different. Like. <laughs> So Engin is like giving, giving away, uh, trying to give away our Varenike. <laughs> Engin's uh, flying the drone indoors inside the hostel. What's happening? Do you want me to play them? Oh no, no. Uh, you're just testing it. No, I, just, okay. I was just testing it to see. Dubai! It was good. Oh, it's a class now. <laughs> okay, one more time. <laughs> she, you got, you, she was singing. You missed it. Oh, she was singing? Yeah. Come on, do it one more. 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 Fantastic! Oh, but sounds beautiful. Yeah, sounds beautiful. Good thing I don't understand the words. Yeah. <laughs> so this is why I really like staying in hostels, is because we meet interesting people. Like you have this nice big space where we can work from. Uh, there's always a kitchen you can cook in if you want. Bye bye. Bye bye. Paka paka. But also just like interesting people. Like sometimes we meet kind of a loud, annoying people. Like there was some kind of drunk guy last night, uh, and it's drunk, drunk woman last lady. night, <laughs> lady last night. And actually in Ukraine, honestly, I don't recommend most hostels because they're not like backpacker travel hostels. Mm -hmm. It's usually like Local people, people, stay, right? people that just can't, yeah people that just can't afford to stay in a hotel or Airbnb. I don't really want to be here. It's just cheap, so they they stay mm -hmm. here and usually. Like you have some good experiences like this and then some bad experiences. So this you could, yeah, one. this was a good one. Half, half, pizza, pizza. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, like in general, most countries 
definitely, I like private rooms and hostels for one or two nights just to meet people and have this experience. But today, um, we're happy we stayed here. Because we have workstation one, workstation two, workstation bam. three, everywhere, all work. Four. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, yeah, like really, like yeah, this whole place is ours. Yeah, we watched movie yesterday, not 30-something yesterday, yeah. 98 Beyonce. <laughs> well, tension. The joke was, when you first left, was, you know, don't go down there and fall in love and, you know, bring a girl back home. Mm. That's funny. Anyway. Mm -hmm. So, Endgame decided to fly my drone yesterday with his phone, but because it's like an iPhone, Three, <laughs> it, uh, it the screen turned off because it was cold outside, and so he flew it blindly. We have no idea how it looked. But let, play one of the clips. I want to yeah. see what it looks like. I'm also okay. Let's stop the copy now. Let's let's play one of the clips and let's see how they really look like. Okay, this is my first clip, clip that I'm proud of because this time I was seeing for ten seconds. Okay. That's okay. So this was like really cool building. That's not. That's a beautiful. Okay. okay. So I am blocked out here. I, I literally don't see anything. Completely blind. Yeah, but I know my type of shots. So I, I thought I could still get what I needed. Okay, so this went straight up. I'm gonna let, let, let it play, let it play. Okay, so. Okay, yeah, it's yeah, nice. I got it. it works. I got it. Look. Well, this is the easy one because you went straight up. Oh, no, no, but did it stop? No, no, no. Now, oh. now I wanted to get other type of shot, but I don't see anything. Okay, okay I'm just oh, like, okay. literally just, you know, like playing. Flying, flying, okay. Yeah. So I'm thinking, okay, I can do it straight to this street, and then I can do the other street. Okay. So look, I got it. Nice. Not seeing anything. Literally. So it turns out you can fly a drone without a screen. <laughs> and then the same. So I'm getting another angle. Uh huh. But like also street, like the cars and things. Okay. So this is like a like a Adding round shot, you know? <laughs> this is like an expert move. A good yeah, job. So okay. Good job. High five. Yeah. You see? So it's our last morning and Anastasia came to meet us again. And now we're gonna go to this underground bakery. Secret bakery. Let's go. This is one of the oldest bakeries in Platova. Hello, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Wow, it's so beautiful. Oh my god, look at this. Cinnamon buns. Some kind of cakes. Some cake tarts. So this is all the sweet ones. I'm assuming this is the salty ones. Yeah, this one's uh, sweet. This one is chicken. I would have a mushroom and cheese, mm -hmm. cheese. Uh, This is with fish and egg. Okay. Uh, this one mm. with like Georgian cheese. Uh -huh. This is called brinza. Uh, this one is with green um, carrots uh -huh. and pickles. And this is with egg, like a quiche. And what is, what is the one in the back? It's like a pizza. P no, this one's pizza? Yeah. Uh, and then, like what is that quiche, one like? It's like a chicken. Like a quiche. Eggs and mushrooms inside. Okay. It's, it's like baked. Uh, and that thing is zakrishaka. Zakusko. Zakusko. It's like a country style. It's, it's chicken, uh -huh. and mushrooms, okay. and eggs. So you can see like... Oh like my god, I want one of each. Okay. Can I take a... Uh, uh, Dobrian, you have to add in... Zakta, Hasha, Adin, Ta. This is chicken with mushroom? Yeah, without mushroom, just chicken, pure chicken. Okay, chicken? Adin, Spasiva. And what was chicken mushroom? Just for a second. Yes, the gravy. Yeah, what's just this? Kurka, the buya. Hadesho. Uh huh. Oh, there's more there. There's a pizza with uh, chicken and there's something sweet. Yeah, true. Uh, yeah. I did. Yeah. That's possible. Yeah. And there's something sweet. What is like the best sweet one? Uh, well, you can try this traditional uh, food with poppy seeds. Okay. Uh, it's really good. Uh, it's like a cinnamon bun. Yeah, uh -huh, I know. Something it. like that. Uh, this one is really interesting. Uh, this one looks really sweet though. Yeah, it's really, mm. really sweet. It's like okay. with sugar. So you can just try something like uh, Maybe I skip it. Okay, what do you want? Uh, they're all. I, I think I, all they're all chicken. Oh, that one's pork. Okay. Chicken pie. So again, this is chicken pie, and that one's a chicken quiche, I think. Egg. Yeah, it's the chicken and mushrooms and egg. 
a kis. Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, also, there are some other sweets. Uh, yeah. But uh, on the hachu at the. Yeah. Uh, you will remove yeah. uh, the chicken. Yeah, hachu I did. No, uh, on and near hachu. Will you pay separately? For but uh, I, I pay everything. Spasiba. Yeah, yeah, I pay for it. Go ahead. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, Engel, you want also this or no? Um, yeah. You also want? Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, so tea, hachu tea. Uh, I, no, I no cake, something? Nothing. Oh, you can also try this. This is also my Crocodile. Baklava. Baklava. Oh, baklava. 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 Crocodile baklava. You want to take one just to see how it is? Take one. I didn't baklava for sure, sir. The chut chut at the tart, a fruity tart, for sure, sir. Chut chut. Malinki. I'll have a show. Spasiba. Vish, had a show? Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> so the pricing is by kilo. It's the way everything. It's like buying drugs. Like, how many grams is that? These are good prices, though. These, each of these are like 50 cents. Yeah, it's amazing. Yeah, amazing. That's, like, nothing here is more than a dollar. It's crazy. No, no. What a dollar can buy in Platova. Anything you want. Mm-hmm. Wow, well, how did we buy so much stuff? It's me, huh? <laughs> when it comes to you, you know. I, I have this like habit. It's, it's every day. It seems to be like a lot. Yes. Yes. Okay, spasiba. Uh, but there's only 145, which is like, I don't know, $5? All yeah, it's a good deal, right? It is. Yeah. For sure, it's possible. So this is the most famous coffee shop in Plotova. This is where people meet. Dye their hair blue. <laughs> Do business deals. Families meet here. And funny story. Anastasia just told me this used to be where? In the beginning of the street. And they moved. And the locals were like. It's ugly. No, it's not because it's ugly because uh, it's covering like the, the view of the street, of the main street. The oh, because it's in the your, middle of the street. The first thing you can yeah. see like moving out of the underground of uh-huh. is this place, but not the whole street. Ah. That's why they wanted to move it, okay. so to be able to see the historical center. That's nice. Yeah. yeah, actually it's not good for business normally, but it seems like this place survived. So yeah. they like people liked it enough to, to come here. They survived for 17,000 women oh. for working last year. Illegally? Yes. Actually, um, yeah. Even the coffee shop was closed? Yes. Outside, like takeaway? Even takeaway. Wow, yeah. that was a hard lockdown. Yeah. Now everything's, at least takeaway, everything's open. Everyone had their hard lockdown. Yeah. So Anastasia brought more gifts. So Engin I got a also gets a jam. Which yes. one is this one? I don't know. My mom is really happy that somebody is eating it. Why? Do you guys not eat it? Eat, but uh, rarely. That's really awesome. Oh, we love it. Okay, which <laughs> yeah. one is this one? This is. Uh, oh. This is a plum. A plum one? Do you want plum or this? This. What is this? I forgot how to say this fruit. Uh, Let me see. Let me check. I don't know how to say this. <laughs> oh, at the fructi. <laughs> oh, it's a cherry plum. This is also plum. Cherry plum. What's the difference between the plums? This is a big plum, small plum? Uh, this a regular plum. Mm-hmm. And cherry plum is smaller. Okay. I'll let you decide. You want cherry plum or I normal cherry plum? plum, then I would like cherry plum. Okay. Cherry makes sense. Spasiva. 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 You. Tell your mom I said. Good idea. Good idea. You can see it in the videos, actually. We'll be eating. And, you, like, not like today was a bit short, but yesterday you were walking around with two of these in your purse the entire day. We yeah. walked like all of Plautava and you were oh carrying it. Oh my god, and you gave it to us in the hostel. Like, I know. Maybe after four or five hours. Yeah. <laughs> so. It was a good exercise. So, yeah, this is her way of uh, exercising. 
Thank you so much for your generosity. Good mom. Good mom. <laughs> and to your mother. To your mom. Yeah. Yeah, to your mom. Best jam in Ukraine. Pontava. Maybe the world. Oh, yeah, Ukraine. And definitely Potava. <laughs> yeah. So we have so many breads. Or I have so many breads. <laughs> This one, I like it because it looks like a giant uh, baked kankali almost. And this one's what? Mushroom and chicken? Mm, this is mushroom. Yeah. How's that one? Good? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Kushna. Potava is tasty. Yeah, very tasty. It was so cheap. All this was $5. And we have like enough bread. All of them $5. Yeah. We probably have enough bread for like two families. Mm -hmm. Like we could probably take a train from here to Russia just eating this bread and we would survive. <laughs> Actually, this amount that you paid for bakery mm -hmm. is uh, that amount that I pay for a student uh, ticket in the train to help you. <laughs> oh, yeah? Mm -hmm. yeah? I should use your ID next time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Anastasia. Mm -hmm. um, cut the cheese. Uh -huh. so that's why it has mm. Ricotta cheese, mushrooms, chicken and egg, boiled egg. Yeah. I've never seen this anywhere in the world. <laughs> we also have. Uh, Again, why are you sitting on the floor? This stuff. No, I'm comfortable. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Engen. <again. laughs> th these benches don't move, so we can't. Mm -hmm. But thank you for joining our table. No, no worries. We have some. <laughs> so I'm leaving the hostel now. It's been uh, an amazing couple days here, and it's also time to say goodbye to Engen. I guess I'll see you in a few weeks or maybe even next month. I don't know. Yeah, we'll figure this out. Yeah. We'll, we'll find some excuse. To come to Kiev? Uh, maybe another city or Kiev. Doesn't yeah, matter. okay. Mm -hmm. All right, Ingen's helping me with my bag. All right, just left Ingen and an Uber, actually Ukulan, on the way to the train station. This road here is a bit bad, but actually the rest of it's really nice. So I'm taking the first class train to Kiev. It's basically the same. It's just the seats are a little tiny bit wider because instead of having three seats, it's two. And there's less people, so it's a bit quieter, but I don't know if it was worth double the price. I just wanted to try it. Yourself from going down so 